So hello and welcome to another fluffy video. Guild Wars 2 related, of course. Who doesn't like Guild Wars 2? I don't know. So this time I'm going to be showing you some of the culture armor for the Azura race. Now culture armor, basically you can get it for each race. Um, from your capital city of that race. And there you'll find some vendors with little purple helmets. Or blue. Bluey purple. I don't know. Definitely a bluey purple colour anyway, and they'll be able to sell you these certain items which will make you look awesome. So let's have a look at what these things are. So this is set one of the, the tier one, the uh, light armour. As you can see it says it's the adept set, so we've got boots, coat, helm, gloves, leggings and epaulets. And they will have pretty good stats, as you can see. Move down that list there. Um, it looks all right, this one. I don't mind it. I kind of like the uh, the gloved arm. Kind of cool. This is a heavy set now. Don't really like the shoulders. Really like the helmet. The hands are pretty cool too. So another thing to remember is this is my dyes from my character. They are blue. He's a very blue character, um, so don't you know? Remember, you can colour these yours, yourself in your own little way, and it won't make any difference at all to how you see them now. Just look at shapes. This is the kind of medium leathery type armour. I kind of really like this one. It's quite aquatic. I like the shoulders like that, you see how they cover more of the shoulder itself rather than being kind of round dots on top of the shoulder blades. I think it can be a bit daft. Seeing kind of round blobs, I'd rather have the, the shoulders actually like that. Which is good, which is better. And that actually I might transmute down to a, onto a kind of um, a cloth set because uh, I really like the look of them. So you can see they're all one gold each as well, for the 35, you've got to be level 35 to wear these. Let's go on to tier 2, who is just around the corner. Start with the light set again, just move the window. See this is the genius set. And you'll also notice my character is a boy, and suddenly I look quite effeminate. Not something I'd um, particularly go for with that head headset there, I think. Um, but I don't mind the rest of it particularly. It's not too bad. But the headdress is a bit, yeah, a bit um, floppy for my liking on this uh, on this male character. Just notice the die preview boxes there as well when I was playing. It looks like you'd be able to pop in some dies and see what colours. You would like, I'm not sure how you preview them, whether you before pre-purchasing the die itself, probably. So, this is the, the heavy set. I really like the headpiece on this. Kind of look quite crab-like. And the, uh, the breastplate's quite nice as well. See how, like, the shoulders are a bit pointy, though? Kind of like Madonna's giving her boobs a rest and put a bra on her shoulders. I don't like that particularly. And the medium set. This is probably the worst medium set. No, actually, no, this is. This one's alright. I don't really like the helm. I do like the chest though. And I do like the gloves, I think. So I think with a bit more colour alteration, that would probably look pretty good. Unfortunately, it's stuck with my um, blues at the moment. So that was tier two. We'll move on now to tier three. We'll start again from the light set. 
servant. You'll recognise this set as it slowly builds itself up. Suddenly you'll be like, Oh, I'm Zoja. And yes, you are. You too can be Zoja. Not sure if I like that. I mean, the armor's alright, it's pretty cool. I like that glove. But, kind of like, I don't like the idea of having thousands of Zojas running around. And again, kind of effeminates my head a bit. Effeminates? That's a good word. Use that. Yeah, a bit floppy on the ears. So here's the heavy. I really like this set. Probably my favourite heavy set. Notice the proper shoulders that are actually around the shoulders, which is good. Um, the helm's quite nice. No, yeah, I definitely like the helm. The gloves probably just need recolouring a bit, but it all fits quite nicely. And I'm going to say it, but the shoulders with the floating crystals reminds me of the Burning Crusade. Sorry, but it just does. So, the final set, and I think the most disappointing set, really. I really don't like this. I, what, what I'd really like to see is if the monocle was actually translucent or transparent, you know, just so you can... It just looks a bit too... blinding. And I don't like the brass shoulders or kind of gloves. They, well, it's probably because I'm blue at this point in time. <laughs> if I wasn't blue then maybe it wouldn't be too bad. So I'm just going to say that it's because I'm blue. But that's me, as normally see, so look quite, kind of, quite cool. I kind of like his cool blue outfit. Finally we'll look at some of the uh, weapons. Weapons are always very important. There's quite a lot of them. Karma related, all level 80. And I'm going to show you the best I can because some of them obviously are quite small and hidden behind a hand. But you can see the, the Warhol. Kind of nice. You'll notice all of these have healing power on them, interestingly. I'm not sure how much people are going to spec healing power. Um, but it's interesting to see it there. Are they trying to tell us something? Are Net sending us useless tat that we could get with better stats on? Do they want us to use transmutation? more and that's why they're kind of giving us these base cool looking items because the weapons on this are pretty nice i really like their techno kind of take on the weapons there are some odd things i i kind of see with them though you'll find out in a minute um stuff's nice though so. spear gun's kind of cool a very techno gun and the bows are really like Definitely uh, Azure and Bows for sure. Game with the shield as well. Make a scepter. The rifle again is quite techno, but it's pretty much exactly the same model as the spear gun. And I really like the pistol here. I think I'd have two of them on a thief. They look really cool. Go up this list again. Mace is pretty nice. I've been playing a bit on the warrior as well so I've really enjoyed playing with the hammer. And um, I had a mace and axe in my other weapon set. It's a spear there, right? There's no point on that spear. What, what are you going to blunt it to death? Brutally poke it until it dies. Not really sure about that one. Hammer looks kind of cool. Like I said, I've been playing the Warrior and I definitely would uh, recommend people try that class out. It's quite nice, different. Again, a sword that kind of looks pretty blunt, to be honest. I mean, like, it's got a blunt point, and then it's not very sharp on the edges. 
not sure how well the Asura were are at making weapons. Maybe there's some lore about it that tells me that there's actually a beam of plasma that runs up and down the side of the blade, which is the force of it. I don't know. See that that dagger there? If you want to stab someone with that dagger, what are you going to do? Bizarre. But more. I don't know. Safe, child safe, and that axe as well. More like you bludgeon someone to death rather than actually kind of hack them. Kind of gets really fat at the end. But there you go. So I hope you really enjoyed that and found it useful. Um, if you did, please like, comment, subscribe, tell us what weapons you're looking at getting. And we'll see you again soon for some more Guild Wars 2 content. Thanks very much, guys. Bye.